Good morning, hope you're well. So today I want to talk to you about the product page, which I've talked about a lot, and also Gutenberg, two things. And Chris Lemmer, who's a guru around WooCommerce and especially around WooCommerce conversions and WooCommerce products, wrote a post last week uh, that talks, that the title was Designing the Product Page and actually featured our plugin, WooBuilder Block. So I'll put a link to this, to this post at the bottom of my video I'm about to show you, where he talks about um, designing the product page and designing the perfect product page and it's a really interesting article so as I say I will link to it and he he highlights a few examples including uh, of a product page but also of how you could do it in, in um, WordPress of which our plugin is featured here which is fantastic for us but the bit I want to show you today is taking one of these examples that he put which is this one here this example of uh, a really great example of a great product page I'm going to show you how to recreate this using Gutenberg and our WooBuilder Blocks plugin, but also talk a bit about why he uses this as an example of a great product page. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to, I'm going to talk about what makes a great product page, and the whole idea behind creating a great product page is to increase conversions. But also then I'm going to show you how you can re recreate this product page. I'll show you step by step how you can create a beautiful page like this uh, using Gutenberg, the block editor, and our WooBuilder Blocks plugin. So here we go. Hope you enjoy it. Right, so this is this is our starting point. This is the normal WooCommerce product layout. It's okay, but it's not anything like what we're aiming at, which is this, where we've got a really beautiful image. And um, we scroll down the page, we have a video in here. We have some more information here that really gives us a feel for the product, that lets us see more detail on the product images, that kind of tells the story as we're scrolling down the page. And again, here it's telling the story about how it works. Uh, then we've got some tech specs here, so you, you're starting to get more information to the end users. We have a picture gallery, so they're really starting to experience the product here. Down here, we've also got reviews, which are incredibly important. So coming back to what Chris Lemmer talks about being the perfect product page, and again, he has a great presentation, and I've stolen a few slides, which kind of um, reflect what we're doing on this product image. So a few things to talk about. So reviews are incredibly important when you're creating a good product page. So this is some stats that he's put on on his presentation. And uh, so people trust reviews 1200% more than your product copy. Uh, so before making a buying decision, 70% of consumers read reviews. And I know I do this before I buy anything at all. I'm all over the reviews. So highlighting your reviews on the product page is just so important. But I see so many uh, product pages that just don't show the product reviews or they're hidden so you can't really see them. Um, so that's product reviews. Uh, the second biggest driver of abandonment carts is the customer not being able to touch and experience a product. And one of the key ways that you can do this is through your product images. So great photos help you tell your story. So again, you know, tiny little photos aren't going to do it. Make the most of your product images. Take time over your product images. But you can do all of that stuff with um, with one video. So if you can take video, and it's very easy to take video these days, why not show it? You know, uh, I know again if I'm looking at a product page and I have an option to look at a photo gallery or a video, I'll always go to the video first. So you know, shoot video and highlight that video on your um, product page. And then here we go. Here's kind of his axis of four, where you've got four things to think about when you're um, building that product page. But again, I will link to Chris's presentation because it's well worth just flicking through his slides. You're gonna learn loads from it. Uh, but I'm gonna show you how you can re basically recreate this product page using Gutenberg, the block editor, and our WooBuilder Blocks plugin. We're not gonna do, we're not obviously gonna replicate it pixel by pixel, but we're gonna get pretty close. So this is the, this is the, the official ANOVA one, okay, which Chris links to in his article. And this is the one that basically I'm gonna create. So we're pretty similar. And it, it features some really cool stuff. So we've got this sticky add to cart at the top here. So can you see as I scroll down here, this add to cart always um, is visible. So it's very easy for somebody to just click that button. We've got a lovely full screen image here. We're showing some video here. Uh, and then we've got more, the more details section here. I'm going to show you how to do these rounded corners. I'm also going to show you how you can, this product image here, can you see, this is quite cool. So we've got a cover background with a background image, but we've also got a product image sitting within it, but it sits flush at the bottom down there. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. That's pretty useful to know. And then down here, uh, we have three um, three images, a section here, which is quite easy to do, but I'll show you how to do it in Gutenberg. We've got our tech specs. We've got our product gallery. This is using our 
uh, we build a blocks plugin and our product gallery block and then we've got the reviews now that they're, they're only me <laughs> reviewing this product because I built the product so I had to put up some of my own reviews but I'll show you how to add all that so that's what I'm going to show you how I created I'm going to take you step by step through it and we're just going to be using the block editor and our WooBuilder blocks plugin and a little bit of CSS which I will give you the um, link to as well so let's do it right let's build this product so this is this is what this is our starting point this is the default WooCommerce product layout and we're going to turn this into this something far more exciting just using Gutenberg and our WooBuilder blocks plugin so I'm going to go edit product and I've already installed the Woo Builder Blocks plugin on this site. So I'll put a link to that in the description. And then I'm going to um, turn this into a product that I can customize using Gutenberg. So I'm going to click on Enable Woo Builder Blocks. And I'm going to start from scratch because I want to build this product completely from the ground up. And that will just basically give me a blank page now where I can reconstruct the elements I want. And I'm going to flick back and forth between this product. This is the one I finished earlier today. And our new product. So I'm going to start by adding the um, sticky add to cart block. So I click on the blue add block sign and I can go down to Woo Builder Blocks here and find our sticky add to cart block and add that in. And there it is. And you'll see with this block over here in the block customizer, we have some options that we've built in. So you can say it at the top or the bottom of the page. Uh, you can set it to show and scroll and then you can also customize the colors of the background and the buttons and cool stuff like that. So I'm going to set it at the bottom. If you set it at the top, it will overlay the admin toolbar. So until you're ready to go, I would uh, set it at the bottom. Right now we're going to start to build this section here, which is essentially is a cover block with an image block in the left column. You see how I can show that's an image block by dragging it and then with some text over here and our price and add to cart. So let's build that. So all we have to do is um, add the cover block here. That's the cover block and choose a background image. I've already uploaded my images. So let me just choose the background and I've created a background image and just given that a Gaussian blur, which I've done outside of WordPress. Okay. And then there's the cover block. And within that, I put the columns block. So I put straight away, I put a columns within the cover block. And then in this left hand column, I've got my product image. Um, in fact, let me just add an image here. And uh, I shall just choose my image. There it is. Okay. And in the right hand block, I basically have a product title, a bit of text, and then the price and the add to cart. So it's entirely up to you what you put in these sections. Um, let me start with the product title. There it is. Okay, and then with this one, I can change the size over here. So I'm gonna make it bigger, change the text color. And you can also change the font. So I think this was probably Health Etica. And there we go. That's sort of approximately the right size to what I want. Then this is actually is just text. So I'm just gonna copy and paste that into a paragraph block. And again, you can change the size of this and play with this. Now I'm going really, really quickly, but you can obviously take more time over this. And I'll change the text color. And then underneath this, I've got this bit of text. So you can see I'm just copy and pasting for speed. And again, I can change the size, I'm guessing on the sizing and the color again. And then finally, if I flick back, we've got the product price, which is a block. So let's go, we'll build a um, product price. Can I see that? No, I can't. So let's go colon product price there it is and again you can change the size and the color i'm happy with the size so i'm just going to change the color and then finally we have the add to cart which i was just showing the add to cart block the woo builder add to cart block okay which will bring that in now i like to set that as outlined because i think it looks really nice showing the background image beneath it and i'm going to change the color okay so we're kind of getting there. The other thing that I want to do here is I want to make this full width. And I also want to change the opacity. When you use the cover block, it has a natural opacity, which is set in this slider here. I'm just going to take that down because I don't really want a darkened background. I just want the background image to blur behind it. And let's take a look at where we're at now. Cool. Right. There's the product. Now, can you see how currently your, your product image won't be sitting flush? 
um, to the cover block. And actually, there's another thing, we, another issue we've got. This is actually not centered within the column. I want that actually centered within the column. So there's two things we need to fix up. The image, this image problem, we need to fix with a little bit of CSS, which I will link to in the description of this video, so you can just nab it. Um, I've actually had just sort of added it here. Let me just grab that. This bit of CSS here will fix that issue for you. Okay, and see how the image block, the image is now sitting flush within that cover section, which is really cool. So you can use this in lots and lots of ways. The other thing we, we need to fix up is this text isn't um, centered vertically within that right hand column. So let me just do that quickly. It's very easy to, to do. You can just select that column. Now down here, can you see you can actually check which section you've um, selected. So select the column itself and it's this little icon here and you can align that to the middle. And that will just align whatever elements are within that to the center of that. Okay, so that's that bit done. Now we've got this, this section here where we've got some text and we have a video. Now, the only complexity around this is we've got lots of white space around it. So what we're actually gonna do here is put this in within the columns block. So I'm gonna add the columns block here first. I'm gonna choose three columns. I'm gonna chuck my text in here using the paragraph block. But then I'm going to change the width of that columns block, it, that middle column block. So you select the block and you need to make sure you select the column and you can check it here, down here, or you can check it here using these three lines. You have to select that column. And then over here on the right, you can change the width. So I'm just gonna set that as 66%, okay, which is about roughly what I want that to be. And can you see how now it's kind of proportionate so I have nice margins either side. Then all I've got is this YouTube video, okay? Uh, and literally, if you wanna embed a YouTube video, you can just copy the address up here and then you can just hit return and paste that video in. And like magic, it detects it's a video and puts it in the video block, okay? The other thing that we've got here is we just need to center that text, okay? And I, actually, I think there's probably one more thing I did, which was put a little bit of space up here. So you've got a bit of space. In fact, that's quite tight, but we might want a bit, a bit more space than that using the spacer block, which is it's just a block, and you can set the height of it over here. So I just set that to 50 pixels. Okay, let's just update this and check where we're at. Let's have a look. So there's our nice cover image, that's looking perfect. Then our nice video centered, and it's, set, it's restricted the proportions. We've got our sticky add to cart uh, block at the bottom. When, once we're ready to publish, we'll actually stick that to the top and, and design it a little bit, but I'm, I'm happy with that as we are. Right, let's go on down here. So then we've got this section here which is basically a full width section uh, with two columns. So that's pretty straightforward to do. All we're gonna do for this is add the columns block, like so, add two columns, okay? In the left-hand column, we have a product image. So that's just using the image block here. Let's add that, um, that'll do, I think. Okay, and then the right-hand column we have some text and hopefully you can guess what we're gonna do with this. So I'm just gonna paste that text in, but I'm gonna do two things. I want to center that text vertically like so. The other thing I want to do is I want to select the whole of the columns block there. Can you see how it's bordered it? And I'm give, giving that a background color like so and make it full width. Okay, now I'm, make, I'm making it a horrible blue just so you can see what's happening. In the actual example, we've got this little gray background. So using Colorzilla, I'm just gonna steal that background color and I can come back to, to here and I can change that background color using the custom color setting and I'm gonna set that to that sort of gray color. Now, the other thing that we've got on the live site here is these nice rounded corners, uh, which you can do with a little bit of CSS. And again, I'll link to this. You need to do a couple of things here. The first is you need to give this image that you want the rounded corners on a little class. So you do that in advanced here and you're looking for additional CSS classes. Now, you just put in your class name here and you can call this what you like. Um, that's the, you give it a class name and then you create a little bit of CSS which I'll create for you. 
and hopefully that's worked actually yeah can you see how it's got the rounded corners on it you put the css in customize and you'll see when i open this up i've already created a class for this and it's here can you see just there so you put dot your class name curly brackets border border hyphen radius and i put it as 25 pixels and that just creates that nice little let me show you that nice little rounded corner um, on that particular image Okay, so every time you give your an image that class name, it's going to apply that little um, rounded corner. Okay, let's move on down the page here. Then essentially we've got the same thing, but we've got a different, we, we need to swap over the text and the image. So I'm going to show you a quick way to do this, which will just save you a whole bunch of time. Okay, so what we're, got, we're actually going to do here is we're going to duplicate the entire um, columns block itself. So I'm going to select columns here. So you need to make sure you select the whole columns block itself. And again, you can do it up here as well. So the top level columns, then, in fact, let me select that again, because I've just selected the wrong thing. Then you're going to duplicate it like so. So now I've got two identical ones. Then you're going to select one of the columns, just one of them. And again, it can be a bit funny to click around here, but you can use this little breadcrumb here. And then once you select a column, can you see this little arrow here? You can just swap that over. Cool, hey? Okay, and then I'm just gonna nab this text, copy that text and paste it in here. Now that image, just because I've duplicated it, will already have the class name. So it's gonna apply those rounded corners to it already. We would probably wanna replace that image, but for speed today, I'm not going to, I'm just gonna keep on um, the same image. Actually, the other thing that we need to do on this is change the color settings here to white. Okay, because this one has a white background. And then essentially we're going to do exactly the same thing again. We're going to duplicate that whole section. Make sure you've got the whole thing selected. Uh, we're going to duplicate it. We're going to select one of the columns. So a way to do this, just click anywhere within the column and then select the top level here. And now I can move it across like so. Okay, that's a good way to do it. Uh, the other thing we need to do is just nab that background color again. So you can see how I'm using these breadcrumbs to select the right section always. For me, I find it's the easiest way to select sections these days. And then just make sure you've selected using this. Oh, no, sorry. See how you can just use that to select the right section. For me, it's by far the easiest way to do it. Okay, so then we've got our three, we're pretty much there with our three column layouts. Then we just need to move on to this section down here. This is pretty straightforward. Hopefully you can guess what this is. This is just, let me go down here. This is just a title, um, a paragraph block uh, with a custom text size like so. And again, you can play around with the text size and align it. And again, if you wanted to, you could put a bit of space above this using the spacer block. I'm not gonna do that today. I might do that today, <laughs> let's do that. So what a good tip on this is, you can hover around your mouse here and you will sometimes find the plus sign. Sometimes it's really hard to find it. So a trick of this is to just add it beneath first. This is kind of a kludgy way to do it. Then move that up using the up and down arrow. Often I'll find that's a better way to do it. If you're ever struggling to find that plus sign rather than having to drag them in, that's the way to do it. Then we've just got three columns with three images. So. Let's add the columns block. And a quick way to add blocks is to go forward slash columns or whatever block you want to find. Okay. If I could spell columns, that would be working. Add my three columns. And then within each column, you can just add your image and your text. And this is another shortcut I'm going to show you. So you can add your image and just your text here. Now it will try and give you a caption by default. We don't want a caption. We actually want to put some text underneath it. So we've actually got um, two blocks. We need to center these as well within the columns. And again, you can change the size of this columns of the um, block underneath it and do things like make it bold. Okay, now the, 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 the shortcut on this is you, I could just repeat that three times. The quicker way is just to duplicate them. See how you can just duplicate each one and then just remove these blocks. And then you could go in here and just replace the image and just change the text. So that's like a, a quick way of doing that stuff that hopefully will save you time. This section is quite interesting. This is um, 
we've got an image here, some text. So it's just two columns within, um, well, it's a two column block really essentially. So let's add that. So we're gonna add the columns block. We want two columns. And all we've got over on the left here is an image. Let's choose the image. Hurry, hurry, hurry. That's the R image. And we're probably gonna change the size of that and we're gonna align this one right because we want this as close to that right-hand column as possible. Then in the left-hand column, we've just got some text. And I'm gonna center that vertically, align that vertically. And I'm gonna just change this text size a little bit to bump it up, okay? Now, the only other thing we've done here is we've select, selected the entire columns block and we've added a little gray background color, which is in color settings background. Now I'll choose blue here just so you can see exactly what's going on here. Uh, and then I'll choose a more subtle one, okay? So that's that section underneath. Then this is this is pretty straightforward. This is again, is just two columns. So I will do it quickly just so I've done the whole thing for you. This is just two columns. So I'm gonna bung that text in, align it to the center, change the text size, uh, then underneath that, I've got a two column block. We're using the shortcut, forward slash, two column block. What have we got? And then we've got an image in the left one and text specs in the right. So let's add the text specs in the right. And it looks like on my real one, I haven't aligned these vertically. So I do actually want to align these vertically. And in this one, I'm gonna add the image, just an image block like so. In fact, what's the image block? Is that picture there, which is that one. Okay, and on the entire block, I've just matched this white background. So I've just gone color settings, background white. And there we go, there's our background looking pretty cool. And then finally, oh no, a couple more things. We've got a gallery under here. So I'm just gonna add the paragraph block again. I'm going to center it. I'm gonna change the size of it. You could do, now I'm being a bit inconsistent with my sizing here. Um, and then underneath here, I added the Woo Builder uh, product image block. And this will have an automatically, um, it'll automatically bring your gallery images in. That's why this is nice. So you could, I guess, use um, a third party gallery block if you wanted to do different transitions. Let me just show you this if I can find it. Um, so we're looking for Woo Builder, Woo Builder product images, which is, I can never find this one, I'm looking in the wrong box, that's why. Uh, Woo Builder product images, here we go. So you just add that block into the page and that will automatically bring your product image um, now, the, uh, I've made a mistake. The only th other thing we want to do here really is we want to constrain this because we want it this sort of size. So we're gonna use our the technique that I used before. We're gonna add the columns block, three columns. I'm gonna put my product images block in there. If I could spell product images block in there. There it is. Uh, and I'm gonna change that to be bigger using the column settings width option over here on the right, okay? Now you won't see your product um, gallery images previewed with this one, but we will when we actually publish the product and view it. So don't panic if you don't see um, your product images. You'll see when I scroll down here, there's my product images, okay? Automatically showing, which is really cool. Like so. Um, and we're pretty much there. The only other thing that we've got here is a bit of text, which again, what we're gonna do for that, let's go back to the edit screen here. We've got a bit of text. In fact, what we could do is add that underneath. Now what we'll do actually, we'll, let's have a look. Yeah, so we're gonna uh, add that in the columns block again, I think we're gonna add another columns block. Um, three columns, exactly the same technique. We're gonna bung that text in the middle column and then we're gonna change that column to be wider. It's a really good way that you can sort of lay stuff out. And then finally at the bottom here, we've got the reviews block, which again is just a Woo Builder block that we've created for you, part of Woo Builder blocks, which is called Woo Builder um, product reviews. This one here, you just drag it across. 
and you won't see anything with this one apart from a little message saying product reviews will be displayed here on the product page and there we go that should be pretty close to what we want um, the only thing we need to do really is uh, move this sticky add to cart block to the top which I'll do just to finish off but we have our this section here let's flip back to the actual live product from Anova so there's our hero then we've got pair down um, perfection on the wrong thing pair down perfection now again I, you can take more time over your font sizes but we've got that we've got the layout pretty much identical We've got a nice video embedded onto the page like they have just here, identical. Then we've got these sections with more product information and these nice rounded product images looking cool. Three of those. Uh, then we've got the three simple steps. Obviously I've got exactly the same images but you would just replace those with different images. We've got this nice section down here with this grey background. Then we've got our tech specs and then we've got our product image gallery here. Okay, which is cool. And then we have our reviews as well. Now I haven't added any reviews. Let me just add one so you can see that's working. This is where your readers can submit their reviews and those will automatically appear right on that product page, okay? Like so. So the only other thing we need to do really to finish off this fantastic product page, which we'll do now, is we're gonna go to sticky add to cart and I'm just gonna put that to the top and actually, should we change the background color and the button color? Let's do that. I think that's probably it. And oh, we might want to change the text color. Let's update that. And we should have our finished product page. Okay, so there you go. That's how you can take a fairly, there we go. There's our sticky add to cart showing at the top now. Uh, that's how you can take a fairly banal and boring product image which isn't converting, sorry, product page which isn't converting and turn it into the perfect product page. I hope you agree that looks a thousand times better in my view. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, if you can give it a thumbs up, that'd be fantastic because I'm doing um, more and more videos around WooCommerce and Gutenberg, the blog editor. I'm trying to do two a week at the moment. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and thanks again and I shall see you soon.